good community. Good morning. I finally got an appointment with my primary care doctor for tomorrow morning. Yay! Try and figure out what the heck's going on with me. Considering the fact this might be TMI for some of you, but I'm sorry, but sound asleep and I wake up having to run to the bathroom. So, medication's not working? My medication's not working, and the only thing it seems to be doing is making my throat swell. Yeah. <coughs> so, yeah. So, I finally got an appointment with my primary, who's probably going to send me to see my gastro and yada yada. We'll but. have to talk about that as well, because the last time you saw the gastro... He uh, did not treat us very well. Yeah, actually, at first he wasn't treating us well, but then he he started treating us better. Well, like, what he did, and he was very rude about it afterwards. Um, what went sent you in for some sort of a procedure to see, I guess, a camera in your stomach or something? Yeah. And he did it just to appease us. And he made it very clear afterwards that they went out of their way to do this. And we should be appreciative. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So, and we're, yeah, okay, whatever. And um, they found nothing. Yeah. So, and it wasn't, as, as we keep saying, we didn't find out what it was until she had her gastric sleeve surgery and the gastric sleeve surgeon found tons and tons of scar tissue and that uh, she he removed some of it but he says it was just kept coming and it was just tons of it there so and uh, it was strangling my intestines yes so if she would eat large amount or something that was difficult to digest like beef uh, it would not go through her stomach and cause severe pain but uh, we weren't getting any of this from the gastroenterologist. He was giving us crap. He yeah. said that was all in your mind. Yeah. Your pain is all in your head. And this is what I keep saying. Doctors, they, if they, they go through their um, procedures. They test you with certain procedures. And if nothing comes back as a problem, they're done. They're not going to look any further. And we, can, we always push. What's next? This is still a problem. You're telling me there isn't. What's next? And they get angry. They hate when you try and diagnose yourself. <laughs> and it's not that you try and diagnose yourself, but at 50 some <laughs> odd years old, you know your body and you know there's something wrong with your body and you know, you, you know, you could tell that something's wrong. Yeah. You watch that TV show where... Uh, unusual diagnosis and stuff yeah. it's always the doctors constantly were saying um, they weren't saying we don't know what it is you'll never find a doctor to say that they'll say oh it's um, it's just residual pain it's from this they come up with some answer and dismiss you until you know and if you don't push and proceed you'll never get treated and that's what we discovered Never ever let a doctor tell you that it's all in your head. Just keep going till you get um, treatment for it. Yeah. Meanwhile, I still feel miserable. I'm exhausted. I'm lethargic. I'm weak. I'm tired. I'm just coughing, and I I just don't feel right. And I will continue to paint. I may have to buy some more to finish the downstairs and then go upstairs, paint trim. And meanwhile, I'll continue to color. And I will color. <laughs> so I'm continuing with my trim work and I have gotten into the little hallway downstairs. I have to do all of these doorway trim and the doors. So I'm 
putting paper down, trying to avoid any issues with getting paint on this tile or on the cat. The cat is like under my feet. And uh, get this all a uniform white color, which it is not. I put my second coat up on the, the stairway. Then yeah. I can go upstairs and do training. Okay, so I painted till I got tired, basically. So I got the trim done in the hallways. I didn't get into the bedroom. Uh, I didn't paint this door, however. I painted these two slab doors. This one's gonna need a second coat. Doesn't wanna focus because it's just white. But uh, yep, yeah, that's what I got done today. I was hoping to get all the doors done, but I didn't. So tomorrow, I'll keep going. Well, everybody, it's that time of night again. Yep, we got a doctor's appointment for tomorrow. Mm hmm I think we told them that in the opener. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I got to get in the shower and get myself all ready. I'm a little bummed out today. I tried coloring two pictures and I ruined one really bad, so I had to throw it out. The other one, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to throw it out. Mm. So I haven't completed any pictures at all today. Mm. Sorry. But, anyway. Mm. How was your day, baby? Oh, uh, okay. We did, I did some more painting. Painting the hallway and a couple of doors, and um, that was about it. Yeah. And we sat down and watched a cheesy horror film. Mm. Those are the best time. Yep. So anyway, we're gonna call it a night. We hope you enjoyed something that you've seen on our video today. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, a favorite. Please share subscribe and leave us a comment and we will see you all tomorrow ta-ta for now Bye. Bye.